For like a give me love oh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're old or you're new, it doesn't matter. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell next to it so you get the notifications for when I upload. So, welcome. I asked you guys if you would want me to upload a story time or a um, group discussion and you guys mostly voted for a story time. Okay, with story times, like, I've only done one on this channel, and I, guys, I got eyelashes back, but, anyway, I have plenty story times, like, I have plenty story times, like, I don't know why, but I literally have so many, like, I, I, I can't even make them up, like, this story times, but, guys, I don't know if I want to put my life out there like that, like, I don't know if I want y'all to know what went on in my life, cause, you know, but whatever. And with the story times, like, I, like I said, I don't know if I want to give you all, so they're going to be like, you know, they're going to be down, down, and then they're going to go up, and then they're going to go down, and then they're going to go up, you know. They're going to vary in how crazy these story times are, you know, because me, <laughs> I don't want to come and destroy my life for... For YouTube. <laughs> nah, I've never done anything that bad. But anyway, today's story time is about me almost getting arrested. And I feel like this should be in different parts. Like this should be part one or the one the one of the times because <laughs> you know I don't know what I've been doing myself, but the amount of times I've almost gone into so much trouble hmm, is too real. Anyway. Let's get started. So it's kind of like the first video, hanging around the same group of people. So a lot of, you know, Africans and, you know, we're all just little like hoodlums. I'm, I'm honestly gonna say like, oh, little hoodlums. Like where I'm from, like I've mentioned before, you know, you go to the city on Friday or Saturday and Sunday night and literally there'd just be hundreds, hundreds of like Africans or just you know teenagers but mostly Africans like around the city and like just hanging around like not just hanging around like we'd like <laughs> go to like um, Melbourne Central which is like this really big um store. I guess, which, which which has many stores in it. Shopping centre. It's a big shopping centre. And we're just like hang around there. Or oh, there was this place called the State Library. And it's the State Library. But um, they used to have this room where people could just chill and like use the MacBooks. And at that time, Mac, the Mac computer was like new and popular and like they had the photo booth thing so everyone would go there and like chill and take photos in the photo booth and then it'd be like everybody's um, profile picture on Facebook anyway so you know everyone like just used to just used to hang around and chill and sometimes they're hanging around and chill got a little bit too ratchet so sometimes me and my friend would like be very naughty. Still say we're going to the city, but um, with one of our, you know, white friends or whatever, and we're just going to chill. We're gonna have dinner. That's it. And what really got us fucked up most of the time is that um, my friend's mom would be like, "Oh, we should talk to your friend's parents," you know. And I'm just like, we're just like, no, um, um, they're not home, you know, they're not home, and they're not taking us. We're going by train or tram, so that's not necessary. But anyway, so we'd go to the city, and you know, we'd chill or whatever. So this particular time, this particular time, I was, I won't say seeing like this guy must have got it into his head somehow that I don't even know. We'll call him, we'll call him, what should we call this guy? We'll call him Durag. I don't know why, but we call him Durag. Anyway, so Durag got it into his head, got it into his head that me and him were like some kind of item or whatever. But what Durag didn't know was that I was already, you know, um, with like someone else. I had already been with someone else and they were friends. But this someone else, we'll call him X, X had gone overseas. So me and X were like no longer, and it's not because he went overseas, which is no longer. Anyway, but our group of friends at that time 
knew that you know mean ex like mean ex are the thing so nobody's gonna mess with me because I'm ex's thing you know anyway so Durag got it into his head that me and him were somewhat together anyway so Durag would be calling me calling me calling me annoying me annoying me annoying me and I was just like yo like this is so weird because he should know that like I'm existing like we're just friends but the way he's talking it's like he's some got a fantasy that we're together okay so Durag for some reason Durag was in jail so while Durag was in jail for God knows what he would still be calling me like I wanted to, I, I'm gonna make another story time for you guys telling me the first time I got a call from Durag because it was one up. okay anyway so Durag would be calling me from jail and it would be like hello you've got a call from da 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 prison like da 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 do you wanna and I was just like okay anyway so just keep in mind Durag's in jail and Durag would be calling me from the jail anyway so me and my friend will call, will call her Annabelle so me and Annabelle would go to the city and we're meeting up with our friends anyway and these you know our guy friends girlfriends you know and they're all African so we'd meet up this particular time I don't know why we was hanging around these people but anyway these people told us oh meet us in Chinatown so obviously Chinatown is Chinatown it's just a little place in the city where it's dedicated to you know Asian restaurants and Asian delicacies and whatnot so meet there so we met there and then there was just a whole and when I tell you a whole, like a whole lot of people in that motherfucking alleyway. And if, and even like I said, we used to all hang around the city, alleyways would be, everyone would be filled up. Like just, you don't understand, everywhere would be filled up with Africans. Anyway, so <laughs> me and Annabelle went into the alleyway, alleyway and you know, everyone was there, just chilling and everything like that. You know, some people were drinking, some people were smoking. You know, cool, I wasn't doing anything because at that point I was still cool, you know. And FYI, I've never smoked marijuana or anything like that. Yes, I've obviously drank or drunk, but whatever. So I, was, I didn't do anything crazy like that. But at that particular time, I didn't drink and I don't think I ever drank those days when we were in the city or whatever. Anyway, so... Yeah, we're all in the alleyway and we're chilling. Everything's cool, whatnot, whatnot. Now, like I said in my first story time, when there's a bunch of these African people, it's all good, everything is mellow, everybody's rejoicing, everybody's enjoying, everybody's enjoying. And then suddenly, chaos. As, like, as in, suddenly, everything would just turn to, to rub, I can't even, to rubbish. Everything is just, it's, it's over. Everything is over. So, all of a sudden, everything would just be fucked up. Like, literally, that, I wish Snapchat was, was on back in those days, because it was really zero to 100. It was really zero to 100. All of a sudden, fights will be breaking now. This person's hitting this person. This is, you know, like, it got to a point where I was literally like, what the fuck is happening? Like, I remember there was literally this eight-foot motherfucking guy. I'm not even joking. He was eight motherfucking feet tall. And he was drunk off his head. Like, I was scared. I was like, I was scared. Am I really here? I am scared. And it was an unfortunate thing to witness, so... Anyway, I saw this eight foot fucking tall guy and all of a sudden there was this like white guy and it could have been like, yeah, white guy and his like girl or whatever, just calmly walking, you know, they were drunk too. But this white fool decided to say something and no, he didn't say the N word, you know, when everyone's drunk, they just say what's up, blah, blah, blah. And this eight foot motherfucker was like... Must have miscombob like his head must have just heard something else. I don't know. All of a sudden, he just 
fucking is it KO? I don't know. He just he just knocked out this like this eight foot tall just knocked out this guy like this white guy on the floor and I'm like yeah that's it that's it I'm here I'm in this vicinity my life is over once again ah! anyway that's not even it that's not even when the police came in so obviously the police came in me and Annabelle skedaddled out of there with our friends we skedaddled into another alleyway so our friends were now smoking and drinking and everything like that it's the city, so obviously police are going to be roaming around, but, you know, they don't like us. They don't like us, so they always want to be approaching us. Keep that in mind. Anyway, so yeah, me and I, we're all in the alleyway, so I'm so uncomfortable. We're all in the alleyway, and we're, sh we're chilling. We're chilling. They're drinking, they're smoking. So, they decide to ask me, oh... How's X? Have you spoken to X? Oh, I heard X, X, this, 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 that. And I'm like, guys, look, me and X are no more. Like, that is just, that was just, it was just, just leave it. We are not anymore. Because at this point in time, me and Annabelle had, were really, like, good friends with these people, you know. So they always had our back no matter what. So I remember telling one particular one that I had, um seen Durag before he went to jail you know I had seen him ages 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 ago right so one of them knows that Durag you know knows me or whatever and they, they're all friends so yeah before I got the call though so, you know these I really I don't want to say the n-word but like it's just it's trying to come out of me and if you know me I don't say that word but it's you see my chest into my throat. My brain wants to say the n-word, but I don't want to say it. Anyway, so I'm just gonna say it. these guys. Yeah, so basically if you know these hood lungs, these hood guys, like they, it's either they never had a phone. It's either they, they even had three phones and then they had no phones. Or if they had a phone, they had no credit. Credit, airtime, I don't know what else is called in any way, but all I know is that as credit. So they had no money or, you know, stuff on their phone to be able to call someone or anything like that. So, obviously, I did. So I was like, mm, okay, you can use my phone to call so, so, so. That is cool. I don't mind. Anyway, so I give him the phone. But as I give him the phone, Durex called me. Now, I didn't know because it's a, it's a private number, obviously. So, I'm like, hmm, okay. At that point in time, my private number people were either Durag or X. <laughs> so, I was like, hmm, oh, I think it's X. That would be nice. He would love to talk to all you guys. So, pick up. Pick up. An idiot I was. So, obviously, on the other end, on speaker, I'm like, it's like you've received a call from da 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 Would you like to accept the charges? And I'm just like, and they're just like, and I'm just like, and they're just like, so I'm just like, and then one of them's like, pick up, pick up, let's talk to Durag. And I was like, I gotta talk to Durag. I ain't got nothing to hide. I don't like him. You know, I was just trying to be a friend while a friend was in jail, but I wasn't really like, it was just, the person, Durag kept calling me. That's all I can say. Durag kept calling me and like, I was low-key scared <laughs> that if I didn't like pick up from time to time, God knows, God knows. Anyway, so, like I was saying, so we pick up, it's on speakerphone at the point in time, and mind you, now all these guys we are with and our friends are drunk and um, and high, sorry, I had to think, they're drunk and high, and it's just like, mm, shit, this isn't gonna go well, I just know. So then, the friend that knew that Durag knew me was like, you know, Durag and this guy right here, they don't mix, he's gonna have B, like, he's not gonna lie that Durag's trying to talk to you, it's not even about X, you know, you're our home girl, there's no way Durag's, cause I'm like, I don't like Durag, so I don't, 
you know, I don't really care, but I ain't about to, you know, I ain't about to, you know, get into the middle of this all because of Durag, who I don't even know or like. Like, literally, it's one time that I knew him. Anyway, so then, basically, they were all on the phone, they were all shouting, and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so then Annabelle's like, there's some people sniffing around, like, there's some police you know, sniffing around, like, they've been walking around, they've got their, I saw them with the vans and the, you know, I'm getting my, this is, you know, they're just looking around, I don't feel, I don't feel comfortable, and I was like, oh yeah, like, we'll go, like, we'll go for a walk as soon as I get me phone back. So they're still talking, they're getting loud, they're getting shouty, they're start, they're getting shouting, they're starting to shout and all this stuff, and I'm just like, Oh Lord, Lord, I need my phone because now I start to see the police are sniffing up at the, like the top of the alleyway. Like they're making their way through. So I'm like, I literally got like less than X minus two minutes to skedaddle the fuck out of there. Anyways, I'm like, guys, like hurry up, like, you know, use the phone, hang up on Durat, use the phone and let it be going. Come on, come on. And as I'm looking around, like, trying to hurry up, like, I don't want to be rude, like, use my phone if you really need it, but, you know, we bounce to bounce because the police are there. And they're like, who fucking cares about the police getting loud, saying, fuck the police, you think I'm scared of the police? I don't care if you ain't scared, bitch, I'm scared, I'm scared, like, I don't care if you ain't scared, me, I see me, I'm scared, I don't want to get in trouble, you know? Anyway, so, um... They're like, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, just let us use it. So I was like, okay, 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 but hurry up. You know, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm getting all anxious and shit. And Annabelle's like, Annabelle is just genuinely going. I'm like, wait, Annabelle, like, can you just wait for me? Fuck, like, I don't want to, you know, help me get my phone then. So I started getting rude because the police were for real coming. And like, I don't want to be, you know, in the midst of all this. The police are really making their way down. So I'm like, no, like, you guys got to give me back my phone. Give me back my phone now. Like, hurry the fuck up. Annabelle, Annabelle's, Annabelle just did zzz. Annabelle's gone, like, she's just, you know, she's yelling at me, hurry up, hurry up, they're coming, like, hurry up. And it's not the fact that we've done anything wrong, it's like I said, keep in mind, they do not like us, so they will like to misfortunate us, anyhow, they don't care, they will make something a big thing. So I wasn't trying to do all of that. So Annabelle, and this is, Annabelle's gone, Annabelle is Gone. I'm like, hurry fuck up, give me my phone, give me my phone. So as we are just exchanging my phone, the, the police have captured us. The police have captured us. Oh. Hmm. I was like, yep, 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 why am I here? I said, what? who told me in my my head that I should come to the city? I should come to Chinatown. I should be chilling with these people drinking and smoking. And I should wh who told me? Eh? Is this what my is this what our parents came here for? Is this what they prayed for to me in early way? Now with the police. Anyway, so the police were there. They're like, hey guys, what's up? What what's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? And I was just like, <laughs> mm, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I just want my phone. <laughs> anyway, so they're like, no, like, what's going on? And then the the guys were like, whoa, what, what? You know, they were basically arcing out with the, like to the police. They were arcing out to the police. So there was creating that hostile environment for the police to obviously want to try and do stuff like arrest them for something so I was like fuck this is it like I don't know what's gonna happen but this is now it my life is over this is it Annabelle is there up on the mountain looking at me and I'm just here yeah. I'm like look I was just trying to um, get my phone get my phone and they're like they're like do you know them do you know them because like they could obviously tell like I was just like like anxious like I'm like I'm looking like I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. So I was like, I'm just trying to get my phone. I'm just trying to get my phone. And my friend's like, shut up! Don't say anything. Don't 
don't say anything. Don't say anything. Just wait. Like, one of the guys was like, don't say anything. Just wait. You know, she, they're like, oh, she has nothing to do with it. Let her go. Blah, blah, blah. And then the police officer was like, no, we're not letting her go. We need to know why she is here with you guys. And I was like, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead today. Anyway, so. I was like, no, like, I, I don't. I, she doesn't know us. I just heard from her. She doesn't know us. We just saw her and we're like, yeah, can we use your phone? And that's it. You know, we're both black. So that's how black people do. She doesn't know us. Let her go. And I was like, he said, no, do you know these people? We are going to no today do you know these people i was like like um i don't know like i've seen them before and that's why when they said th they wanted my phone i was like yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> i was like yeah i can I, I you can borrow my phone that's it that's that's all that happened you know and they were not having it they were like what's his name do you know his name and i was like um um uh, I don't know. And they're like, oh, why would you give someone you don't know your number? I'm like, I thought they was in trouble. Like, and my, fr my friend again is like, shut up. Stop saying anything. She doesn't need to answer you. Here's her phone. Let her go. And I was just like, please, like, I don't know. Like, I, and they're like, what are you doing in Chinatown? And I said, me and my friend, like, my friend, I was just, um, my friend's coming out of the taxi to meet me at the 7-Eleven just there. So, as we were walking, they told me, you know, give me your number. They're like, where's your friend now? Where's your friend? And I'm like, and I can see you, Annabelle, there. And I was like, mm. I mean, she just walked out. Should I tell him Annabelle's over there? And Annabelle just, nah. I was like, I was like, nah, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, anyway. They kept questioning, 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 questioning. My friend kept hollering like, she doesn't know us, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so now things went left because they wouldn't leave me the fuck alone. Keep in mind, my friends, ain't not, they're not scared. They know me, I'm scared. They don't want me to get in trouble, so they don't care. So one of my friends walks across and, oh, God. When I think about it now, it's actually, it's not funny, but it's just like, how did this even happen? Anyway, so he's like, yo, she doesn't fucking know us. Leave, leave her alone. Let her go. You don't need to get any information from her. She doesn't know. And pushes him. Pushes the policeman. I was like, did she just, oh, oh, we're all finished. Hey, we're finished. So he pushes him. Now it becomes World War motherfucking team. Everybody is fighting. The capsic, the capsicum spray is gonna be really in all my story times. It's really gonna be in all my story times because this spray is a popular spray. The police, they are very popular. <laughs> so they're fighting. The police arrest one of my friends down there. Arrest this other one. The friend that came, he's on his knees trying to, you know, get it out of his eyes, and I'm just like. Please, I don't know them. Ah, please, I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know them. I just use my phone. Please, check. You can you can look at my Facebook. I don't know them. I don't know them. Please, I don't know them. I don't know them. The policeman was like, get to the side. Get to the motherfucking side. Get to the side. Otherwise, we're going to arrest you too. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Get to the side now. So they're all on the wall getting handcuffed and everything like that and the bell's still looking over there with her with her dumb ass self she's still looking over there <laughs> and I'm just like oh my god so I'm at the side another police car comes and the policeman comes out and you know comes to me and he's like oh is everything okay and I'm like they were just questioning me like I just gave these people my phone to use like I don't even know where my phone is at the moment I think it's in one of my friends pocket so he got my phone back, he came to me, he's gonna say, look, we're gonna need your, we're gonna need you. And I was like, need me? 
please 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 need me for what? please need me i don't know them please i don't know what they've been doing if they i don't know i don't know it said it seems like your friends uh, uh have been taking drugs or they've been you know having alcohol have you been a part i said no i've already explained it to that man over there i don't know them i'm just waiting for my friend please anyway so they were like you know what that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You're going to need to go home straight after this. Where do you live? Do you have ID? Let me see it, everything. And I was like, oh God. So I showed them my ID and everything like that. Like, at that point in time, I don't, like, don't know, you know, if you, you, you know you're right and everything, but when you're in that situation, it's just gone to, out the window, you know? It's gone out the window. So I was like, okay. I gave them everything. So I'm like, oh, this is, you know, I gave them the um, name and I think it was either like my mobile number or anything and they were just writing it down. I was like, hey, I don't even know when they go to their office and they now lodge something. Who knows what they will say about me? What are they going to say about me? What are they going to say about me? So I was like, should I give them, like, should I give them a fake name? No, but they see my ID. But do, but do they remember what they saw on their ID? Because they didn't write anything down from their ID. So I was like, I was just trying to figure out something in my head. Anyway, so they were like, you know what, sweetie? It's okay. It's okay. Go home now. If you go home now, you're fine. Go meet your friend and you go home and that's it. No, nothing is going to happen with your details. Nothing. Okay? Don't mix with these people. We do. We go around and we go around. If we see you in this alleyway or in the city again, you're going to be arrested. We're going to take you in and for more questioning. If you don't go home now and we see you in the city again this night, you'll be in trouble. Anyway, so I was like, hey, God freed me. I went and I met with Annabelle and I was like, you're a motherfucking idiot. Do you think I heard what any what that one said as in to go home now? Me, I didn't hear anything. I stayed there. We just like chilled around the city, stayed in like Hungry Jacks. Because Hungry Jacks at that point in time was like lit. Like everyone was in Hungry Jacks or Melbourne Central or State Library, like I said. So we were just chilling there. And yeah, and then we went home caught the good old night rider, ran home from the bus stop, went to bed, had a peaceful sleep. The next day, we probably spoke to them same our friends again. And that's the end of my motherfucking story. I'm sorry, I'm a really bad explainer, but I hope I did my best. I hope I did my best. And I hope you enjoyed the story. If you want more like this, make sure you thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And I love y'all. I love y'all. And I promise, I didn't get into much trouble after that, you know. Or did I? If you thumbs up and you subscribe. You shall know if I was an angel from then on or I was a devil again. Love you. Goodbye. For lucky, give me love. Oh.